Were it not for the long arm of the law, this would have been the dream house of Governor Alex Trolgos, a dream that is now five years old, and all indications are that it could remain as such a dream. You see, soon after assuming office in 2013, the governor started designing a palatial home that was eventually allocated 50 million shillings to be constructed in Kamarini, Iten, the county headquarters. The High Court, however, stopped the project on grounds that there was no public participation towards arriving at the project and also that it stood on cultural grounds. The project was also termed a non-priority by some of the leaders in the region. It even included a presidential suit where we know maybe sometimes our, uh, our president might wish to come and, and stay in Elgeo Marakwet and uh, we need to have a place where we can welcome him. Since then, the governor has been left with no option but to continue living at his private home in Eldred, having to commute daily to his office that is 35 kilometers away, the cost borne by the taxpayer. And it is not short of inconvenience. It's difficult for me because I have to balance between family and also serving the public. So I, I, we have to control to some extent, which uh, to me I think uh, uh, El Geomaraquet people are not getting uh, full services as required. The residents of the county feel it's time their governor came home. Governor yetu waishi katika town yetu na maendeleo yendele. Hata tunabahati kwa sababu yeye amechaguliwa kama governor ya Elgon Marakwe the same kwa kama mwaka hiyo ngine. Kapa na kiishi katika county yake inapungusa expenditure ila anatumia kila jioni kila asubuhi. After uh, looking around, shopping for a house within it, then I could not get a, a house that befits a governor. According to the governor, county bosses have up to 2019 to complete construction of official residence, and with time running out, an alternative location has to be found and funded. Since 2013, when devolution took effect, county governors have been in sharp focus in their investment on official residence, mainly seen as extravagant. Kilifi Governor Amazon Kingi occupies one of the most expensive and luxurious houses at a cost of 140 million shillings, a beachfront property. Meru County Assembly is set to approve a budget of 40 million shillings to construct a residence for Governor Kiraito Murungi after years of tussling when former Governor Peter Munya was accused of allocating up to 300 million shillings for a similar home before it was reportedly revised to 60 million shillings. Sam Kitoko Citizen, Weekend.